Hi, Buck. Hey. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thanks for doing? thanks for taking off work or whatever you did. Well, you're the boss, so you can take off whenever you want. <laughs> no, I'm not, but they'll no, but understand. They'll understand. So you're Owen's sister. Sister. Yeah. He told us about you know what you went through and everything involved here with your daughter. Daughter's name? Name was Mariah. How old was she? Fourteen. And uh, when was it that uh, this happened? November 18, 2009. Yeah. So then, uh, uh, three, four years? Three, four years. Four years. And she was, uh, was she having any problems? I mean, did she know? Imagine what led to that. I mean, I'm sure you had, you know, all you would do is think about that. I mean, <clears throat> is there a reason? You know, I'll never know. I'll never know the reason. Well, you it's know. your mother. I mean, imagine there had to be some. There's something. always been that question of why. But thinking about that year, 2009. March 1st, I lost my husband, and um, he died of liver failure. And he was pretty much more or less her father figure. And then in May, she had a really close friend. He was killed in a car accident. Is that her boyfriend? Her boyfriend, yeah, I can say that. And at the time, I, you know, I was dealing with losing my husband and I couldn't I couldn't you know come to terms with that he left and it you know after she passed away then I began to think about it think about it what I was going through she went through but she wasn't strong enough and I'm sure there's you know lots of things that go on here that as beautiful as it is and, and as tight as the families and communities are, there's there's a lot of obviously hardships and mm -hmm. things uh, on the underbelly of mm -hmm. the res, just like you know out in America everywhere, you know, yeah, but especially I mean, here. Alcoholism is here. There's drugs, marijuana, coke, you name it. I mean, they, these kids probably know more about that than I do. I know there is hopelessness here. I mean, I I felt it a couple times, but I was like, you know. Uh, when you have all these young kids looking at you, saying, "What do we do? You know, what are you? What do you have to say to me?" You know, I have to stop, step back, think about what I'm going to tell them, so that it sticks with them. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll show you. Um, the day she died, they we took out everything, and everything was burned. A lot of this was um, done at like the banners on top and these um the um the schools red cloud school did did them um the banners but a lot of these are personal pictures that we've had of her this is her here um here you can tell which one she is um my aunt jesse wrote this poem this poster was given to her by um Our uh, author, and he he gave Mariah this poster because she was sick that day, and it was so fitting that it was a young girl. But her name was Mariah. My dad could never say it. He was an older man, and so he called her Mariah, and that's what everyone knew her as. But these are a lot of her pictures. Um, she loved cats. Um, the Twilight deal was going on big then, so she had that going on. Um, that was I think from her classmates, the freshmen. I know all, all classes did pictures just like that of her. Um, some of these are pictures from Pine Ridge School and she went there. Um, this one kind of means a lot to me because my mom's in this picture. My mom and both my kids, this is Mariah, BJ, and then our niece Lillian, or my niece Lillian. Um, but nice. When I see this picture and I see the joy and happiness and that she's so young with her cat, that she cat. loved the kitties. The and imagine that, that a person like this could ever be unhappy. She um, 
wrote things that are underneath that, you know, we just put these up just so her friends could come here. And a lot of them do come here, and that's why the bench is here. Um, but that day, truthfully, when I found her, I came in while I was at Wolf Creek School teaching a beating class, and I came back. I picked up my cousin. We're coming on this other road, and she said, look, there's two bald eagles flying above your house. And I was like, what? And I looked up, and I was like, so I came in, and her music was blaring, and I was like, this girl had too late to start, why is she still here? So I knocked on her door, but I could hear her cat meowing. I was like, hmm. I was in the walkway, I turned the knob, and it was locked. So I went to the front, and I grabbed a knife, and I popped her lock. That kitten came running. I mean, her bed was probably right here. That kitten ran up like this and stopped, looked at me, and then it went back, and it sat right about there, and looked in there in the closet. And I said, Mariah, and I looked and she was laying there face down. How did she do it? She strangled herself. I picked her up strangled. and I hung on to her. I said, Owen, Owen, help me, help me. 